what is going on guys today we are looking at another 90 rated casemiro and this is an interesting one we have got a freeze casemiro that is a market player he is coming in and is extinct at 380 across the board this guy is CDM now. He is 190 on the Xbox, 147 on the PlayStation, and has had a massive, massive decrease in his pace in comparison to his other center back version. We're going to do the comparison of that at the end of the review, so stick around then. Let me know down below who's your go to midfielder in La Liga if you had to choose. Let me know down below, like and subscribe. Let's get into Casemiro's review. We have got the Real Madrid Brazilian CDM. He's coming in at a whopping 90 rated card. Unbelievable that he is this high rated already. And we have got him with a two star skills and a three star weak foot. The problem with Casemiro, he's just not. He, it's not that he's not playable, he just doesn't work well in this game. I feel like his freeze card was definitely something that you could get on board with. And if you had someone to link him in terms of to put him in CDM and go CDM to centre back on another card, very much how like the Marquinhos, uh, Marquinhos freeze worked. We had him as a CDM, you could whack him as centre back and Casemiro as CDM. That worked absolutely perfect. You could still get Furlan Mendy as a left back and you could definitely get him in CDM where his position is amazing because he had better pace and he had a plus I think it was a plus 10 on his pace or plus 11 plus 11 on his pace plus 3 on his defending for me the defending's not a problem he's got 87 on his base that is more than fine but the problem we've got is that pace is so low at 67 with a shadow you still only get 77 it's not like completely awful awful but i just don't think it's going to be a card that is going to make it into foot champs team when you've got conte there who is just the he is the cdm he is the best cdm most people love him as a gold card obviously as he gets in forms and when he had team of the year he was just a phenomenal player but for me casemiro has all the right stats in defense but when it comes to kind of passing his pace his dribbling it's just not good enough. Pace is most definitely not good enough on this one. The freeze definitely was very, very nice. Shooting-wise, we can kind of call that irrelevant now. It's gone up by plus 10 because obviously the freeze decreased that by 10. So he was a centre-back. Passing-wise, he's got the short and long. But realistically, that's all he's got. Everything else is relatively low, bar from vision. I suppose you could get away with it. But as a CDM, I want him on the ball. I want him travelling with it. I want him passing it around. I don't want him being very static and almost like a centre-back where I need to kick it out straight away. With the CDM, someone like a... I know we're going a bit higher higher budget here, but someone like a Vieira or a Hullet, as I'm taking them as examples, as they are the the best CDMs you can get. They are comfortable in most of the midfield, and that's a very nice trait to have. If you've got a defensive midfielder who is comfortable on the ball, you can travel with him. Yes, you might not be able to do all the skills. I'm not really too fussed about that, as you want to keep it plain and simple in that defensive zone if you are not elite level at the game, but he needs to have the base. He's got no agility balance. That's at the 60s. I think that is far too low. And then we have got good reactions. Ball control is 81. It's average. Good composure. No real dribbling. And then the defense and physical are pretty immense. You can't really argue with it. Obviously, the chemistry style people are going to be whacking on him is a shadow. It does turn him into a 90 CDM as his overall anyway. Um, 95 defending with the 77 pace. For me, it's just too low on the pace. I feel like 80 plus would be absolutely perfect. So, if we do get another couple of informs from him, that would be absolutely sensational. But whether he gets it is the next question. So let's jump into the gameplay and see what Casemiro did for me. So like I said with Casemiro, he is immense at the defensive side of it. He has got a wonderful tackle on him. And he can play balls, don't get me wrong. The, the kind of standard balls are quite nice. He was linking up with Cancelo quite a lot. As obviously I was trying to kind of push him down that wing. But I think in general... I just prefer Conte for 100 and what 190k on the Xbox. Conte's coming in at practically that. 
I just think he's a much, much better option. And obviously with his nation, is incredible as well. Brazil is a brilliant nation as well, also with their specials. Don't get me wrong, they've got some phenomenal icons and some really good special cards from the Talisca from very at the start to uh, Texarian, Paulinho, Oscar's record breaker. I'm sure we could carry on with it, but you know, you know the drift. There's plenty of links for him. So... Casemiro's got a couple more informs, I think, personally, before I can say that he's going to be this next level card, but he's got a good base to start with. A very nice player to get regardless of 90 rated. I'd happily take him as a red just to have a 90 rated red straight off the bat, but would I be overtly excited about him? Probably not. I'd be looking mainly for a Rashford, if anything, and I just think he's an average player, but good DM. So then, if we do go to the overall forum then, we've got links like Isco, Beckham, Varane. If we do quickly have a double check at Real Madrid, Benzema, you've got Ramos, you've got Hazard, you've got, uh, who else we got? Cruz as a centre mid, very, very little pace. Obviously, Road to the Final, Varane is just next level expensive. You've got Odengard. There is plenty of links for him. So many, so many, so many links for him. I've realised that Isco is out of date as well, so... Bear with me with that one. That should be an 87 cam now. You'd have thought, seen as though I do have the card. But Casemiro, for me, it's just it's just the pace. Literally just the pace. Maybe, yes, the weak foot I would like as a four. I'm not massively too concerned about the skill moves. I don't really need too much. It'd always be nice to have them. I'd rather have them than not. But I'm not going to knock any points off him for not having them skill moves. In terms of generations from him then, we have had quite a few nice cards for him. Obviously, he came from the Brazilian League as a silver, then going straight up into a gold. Managing in FIFA 17 to get his first team of the season. We then see a second one in 18, a team of the season moment in 19. Back to team of the season in 20. And hopefully we do continue that run with a, a, probably like a 95, 96 rated Casemiro in FIFA 21. If he continues to do well. Obviously his freeze card, if we do have a look at the comparison. It's a plus 11 pace on the freeze. A plus 3 defending. And then we have a minus 1 on the dribbling. And minus 10 on the shooting. For me that's a much better card. Obviously, the price is practically double, so always bear that in mind that you are paying double the price for a better card, so it makes sense. But for me, it's that pace increase that was absolutely phenomenal, and it's a shame that he wasn't a CDM on the original because he would be a cracked Brazilian CDM, linking so many players together, and you could genuinely link quite a lot. You've got your Varane and Furland already on strong links with him, and then pretty much all you need is a Neymar, and you're absolutely sorted. So he is very linkable, and hopefully we do see more of an upgrade from him. I'd be very interested to see if he does get a team of the season, because then that card potentially could be a very, very good CDM this year. I liked him last year. I didn't think he was absolutely cracked, but this year, because he's already an 89 on his base, he's got a potential of being a very high-rated team of the season, which is very exciting. I'm, I'm already quite hyped to get team of the season underway but team of the years first then we get loads of different promos and hopefully then we have a banging team of the season come the end of i think it's what the end of june april may i don't know when team of the season is i think it's april but in general he's a nice card i wouldn't pick him up in, in my opinion i've given him an 8.5 because i feel like defensively there's nothing wrong with him he's one of the best tacklers one of the best defensive physical players you'll get on the game it is literally just the other stats that do let this card down in my opinion and it's a shame because he is quite a well well i don't know well put together player i'm trying to trying to put together words it, it's it's almost like trying to get his real life performance in with his fifa it just doesn't correlate to make a very good fifa card in real life he's decent yes real madrid have not had the greatest form in the world right now but definitely that doesn't take away from individual performances and hopefully we do see them pick it back up and casemiro gets a few more specials to get this card underway with at least I'd say if you can get to 74, 75 pace, you're absolutely laughing with a card like this. You'll be paying half a mil for him because he'd be one of the best CDMs. And honestly, he'd be a very crack card. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Like and subscribe. I've got two more reviews for Informs to go. And then we've got Ben, ben Arthur. will probably be later on on the Thursday. But I'll see you for the next one. Peace.